tell by today's title, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my unpopular opinions. And if you're new to my channel, stop right now and go ahead and hit the subscribe button to be a part of my V fam. And if you want to be a V baby, you know you want to be my little baby, go ahead and hit the subscribe button now before we get into it and before I get started and share with y'all my unpopular opinions of 2020. And also, before I get started, I want to say that I said what I said. So don't come for me. Don't come for me. Because if you come for me, I will come back for you. That's on what? Period. 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 <laughs> my first unpopular opinion is that Envy a young boy is trash. And that's all I have to say. His music is trash. It's very repetitive. And I just don't get the hype behind NBA Youngboy. Like, that man got herpes. He's not cute. He's not ugly, but he's not cute. It's just not my cup of tea. So, yeah. NBA Youngboy is trash. Throw him away. But by the way, you guys, I have a little list here. My little list. Because I don't want to forget nothing. And... I do that. Like, I forget something, like... I don't understand. I don't understand. I, uh, let's just keep going. So, my next opinion is that skinny shaming is real. Skinny shaming is real. As a slim queen, you know, skinny legend myself, as you can see, baby. Y'all see the legs? These model legs, okay? Model status, Okay. So, as a skinny girl myself, I've been called tree, twig, skinny, oh, toothpick. She can fit through the fence. She can fit through little tiny spots. All the skinny girl name calling in the book. And I just really think it's crazy how people kind of dismiss how skinny people feel about being called skinny. Like, like with the whole... Fat shaming thing. Fat shaming is also true and very bad also. But I kind of feel like when someone calls a skinny girl skinny, they think it's a compliment, but that's not necessarily true because at the end of the day, you don't know about you don't know how that person feels about their body because it's not your body. Just because you think that it's a compliment and you like that, that does not mean not jack nothing to that person. So skinny shaming is real, okay? Do not speak on anyone's body. Because it's not yours, number one. You, like, why are you speaking about it? And you know, the body in society today is Instagram model. Slim thick. Oh yeah, like, if this is the body image today, you don't fit that body image, you might feel very much a certain type of way about your body, or you might not like your body, because this standard of beauty does not fit you. But that is something that we have to work on as girls and women to love ourselves. Money does make you happy money makes you happy is my next opinion i say this in a sense of like no money cannot buy you happiness it can't get you to that happiness but i do think that money does make you happy in a sense of like okay you want luxury thing oh y'all i'm sorry it does make you happy in the sense of like okay you want luxury things say you want i don't know a pair of shoes that cost three thousand dollars if you know that you have the money to buy that shoe for three thousand dollars and not think twice about it not even like oh my god how am i gonna work to get this money back for these shoes like i can't afford these shoes they three thousand dollars i think it does make you happy in that sense that you don't really have to stress about buying nice things but do i think it buys you true happiness that you get from your family people who love you friends no that college is not a must Although I am rapping Hampton University today, college is not a must. I believe that you should only go to college, one, if you want to go, two, if you know for sure what you want to do in life and that what you want to do requires a college degree, and three, if you want to go. Because nowadays with social media, you can make money off your computer, your laptop, your phone, from YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, you know? Go, go, hey, yay, renegade, renegade. I can't dance, y'all. I'm sorry, I can't dance. But with social media today, you can very much make money 
sitting at home, making your own content, making your own money in yourself. School and college is really not the only way. And if you're being forced by family, the people around you to go to school, if you don't want to go to college, then don't go. I'm not saying like don't go to college because personally, what I want to do in life requires a college degree and it's the only way. And I do want to get the college experience. So yeah. Yes. Chipotle is the best. It's the best. Like y'all cannot tell me nothing. I don't understand how people don't like Chipotle. Like how you how you don't like Chipotle? How? How? It's rice, chicken, beans, corn, and sauce. How you don't like Chipotle? I don't understand. I don't understand. But you go to McDonald's. But you don't like uh, Chipotle? It don't add up. Like I'm sorry. No. My next opinion is that y'all. I feel very strongly about this, especially as a senior high school now. Senior year of high school is unnecessary. It's unnecessary. Like at this point right now, I'm done with school. I'm tired of school. I'm so with school. Like just the thought of college right now is, it gives me a headache. Like I'm just ready to graduate. And I graduated two months, you know, class of 2020. <laughs> okay. But like the third year, not the third year. The fourth year is just unnecessary. Like it's unnecessary. Like all the stuff that you're doing in your senior year can literally be done sophomore year and then junior year your last year of high school. This one, all the hot girls gonna hate me for this one. But my next opinion is that Megan the Stallion overrated. Ah, I'm sorry, but I mm, oh, she just don't get me wrong. I like Megan. I love Megan. She's a pretty girl, you know, good performer, entertainer. But music-wise, it's not my cup of tea, personally. Again, the music sounds the same to me. Every track sounds the same. Speaks about the same thing. Lyricism is just not there. The metaphors, the bar, I, I, I can't find them. I can't find them in none of her songs. But do I like her as a person? Yes. As an artist, not so much. Kim Kardashian is not culture appropriating black culture. Did that even make sense? Okay, so anywho, we're gonna have a little talk about this. So recently in the news, I've been seeing a lot of people saying that Kim Kardashian, oh, she's culture appropriating black people because of her hairstyle. She had like these braids. I can insert a picture somewhere on the screen. It'll be on the screen. I'm gonna show a picture. So people are saying that she's basically trying to be black. You know, Kardashians want to be black. They change their bodies. This is that and third. Um, see, I feel as though that Kim genuinely just likes the hairstyle. She likes the culture. You know, I mean, she's surrounded by people of black culture. I feel like she genuinely just likes the culture and likes the hairstyle and wants to try things out. I feel like y'all just be reaching and trying to say that she culture. I mean, I could see how, but I haven't heard her say anything bad about black people or be racist. Not that I know of, but if y'all heard it, comment it down below. Okay, let me know. So yeah, I don't think she's culture Y'all just be reaching. <laughs> My last and final opinion. I feel as though people honestly just buy designer things to make it look like they got money because look at these shoes look at these shoes sit here and tell me that you like these shoes i mean you might like these shoes but i feel like people buy so many things literally just because of the name and to make it look like they got money and to be you know i don't know dripped out i just feel like like they just be doing it for the cloud and to be dripping white bill not paid dripping Tuition for school not paid. Dripping. Can't even eat. Dripping. No hot water. Dripping. Like, y'all need to stop. <laughs> you guys, if you like my video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think. And if you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss a post. And go ahead and check out my most recent posts. And check out all of my content. Bye, guys.